today was supposed to start with music, but we started with dance. Bravo! <laughs> so, welcome everybody. This is a wonderful day during Georgetown uh, conference on Mexico. And we'll start with the music. Uh, my name is Anton Pilogonian. I'm the music director of the Georgetown University Orchestra. But I'm also wearing a little hat, which is I'm the music director of the Post Classical Ensemble. We have here with us today uh, my dear friend and executive director of the Post Classical Ensemble, Joe Horowitz. <laughs> so we enjoy an extraordinary educational partnership with the music department, the performing arts department at Georgetown, and we have been working preparing conferences, symposiums, recitals with Georgetown and our professional career for many years. And this is one more achievement of that. Thank you to the support of extraordinary supporters here at Georgetown, like Professor John Tutino, Professor Barbara Rufinka, uh, Professor Anthony Bendona, who actually directs the uh, uh, Friday Music Series. And immediately said, when I proposed him, we have this conference with Mexico, okay, we have uh, the conference on a Friday. So thank you so much to all of you for that. Um, uh, Professor John Tutino will give you an overview of everything uh, after the music uh, uh, finishes. And we wanted, of course, to start with music, because we're, music is a, an extraordinary part of this festival. If we have some information there at the entrance, please don't hesitate to take it. This is the second event of this Mexican festival. We started with a book club. We have a conference today. It will be a grand finale on May 10th with an extraordinary film. We have, you are going to learn today a lot, uh, Redes, with music by Sylvester de Williams. But we wanted to create a contest with the music that inspired all of these people. So we are privileged today to have Alexandro Hernandez and his group uh, playing the music of Veracruz, Son Jarocho, which is the area in which the film we are going to explore later was created. Uh, Alexander is an extraordinary researcher and phenomenal a musician, has been working on music of uh, all of Latin, Latin America and especially Mexico. So it's a great, great uh, honor and pleasure to have you and your group here. So please welcome Alejandro Hernandez and Son Cosita Senda. Thank you. 
roots, kind of country style of, of some carocho coming from the southern Gulf Coast of, of um, Veracruz in particular. Um, there's a zo a, uh, an area called the Sotavento, um, which, you know, we have to remember that music, culture, um, wherever state lines are drawn or even international borders are drawn, uh, culture and music doesn't end there, right? Um, this music also is, extends into parts of the states of Oaxaca, into Tabasco, in Mexico, um, from there to Mexico City, from Mexico City over here to the U.S. and find whole groups of, of, of youth playing this music all across the country now, Chicago, Los Angeles, Eugene, Oregon, down in Florida, here in Washington, D.C. So this has this, this really, really become a, a really vital and living musical movement uh, to this very day even here in the United States.
little bit. This is one of the bass instruments used in Son Jarocho. This is called the Leona. There's a much bigger one called the Leon. Uh, the main instrument that I'm playing is called, it goes by many names, but the two most common names that I usually switch between is Requinto Jarocho or Guitarra de Son. This usually plays lead, a lot of melodies. Some groups have the harp as well. Um, Ana has been playing mainly uh, two types of harana. The bigger one is the harana tercera. And then there's one in the middle called the segunda, and then this smaller one, the primera. So these instruments come in very different sizes. There is an actual jarocho fiddle playing, uh, jarocho violin playing, primarily in one area called los tuxtas. Um, and it's used for uh, ceremonial purposes. Uh, the son jarocho there is, is performed much, much slower. Um, and one thing I really, really want to drive, uh, a point that I want to drive, is that this music itself is very, very diverse. Uh, it comes primarily from three main cultures that kind of converged um, in the colonial period when Mexico wasn't even Mexico, it was New Spain. Um, so Spanish, right, and even to just to say Spanish is very much a generalization. A lot of Southern Spanish will also have North African slash Moorish ancestry that came in to um, during the conquest, the indigenous people that were already there, and there were many different indigenous groups, and the transatlantic slave trade, right? So we have this an African element to the music as well. And depending on the region, depending on the town, depending on the family, the music is played faster, the music is played slower, more, more moderate speed. Um, there's still an area where uh, people sing this music in, in their own indigenous language, the Popolucas, um, uh, as well. And I think I saw a picture of that. I, I might be getting this mistake, so don't quote me on this, but uh, where folks play the harp upside down. Uh, so it's really interesting the way the instruments get uh, interpreted and in terms of how they're played, depending on the reason. I don't think they do the same thing too. So, I'm going to play one of my favorite songs, this is called Alan. Uh, uh.
morning mist there. <laughs> very, I love, I love anything that's very dreamy and ethereal, I don't know. Gravitate towards. <laughs>
son cositas serias.
NASA Community Center in Mount Pleasant. Um, we'll be around for a little bit afterwards, so if you're interested, let me know. I think I can give you more information.